Good morning, guys. It's kind of chilly here in Middle Tennessee this morning. We got a little bit of ice on the windshield. Uh, yeah, that's uh, ice, all right. I'm uh, I've been working on getting a a little bit of this cleaned out, and I've got it looks like more, but I've got twelve that are boxed up that were kind of hard to get lined out but i got them lined out got a little bit of stuff moved out but i'm going to work on it some more i've been doing it different than a lot of the guys online do it which is kind of dumb i think but it's been working out for me what the deal is i get stuff in and i box it and weigh it and then make out the add and it's ready to go when it hits the hits ebay it's ready to to just pull like i'll go and grab the thing off the shelf and uh slap the label on it and it's it's ready to to get out of there so like this game here journey through europe it's already been weighed and measured and uh i did that part and then did my listing and then did a list and came back and put the amount or the the title that I put on my listing there so it'd be easier to find theoretically. Now I'm gonna go to the mini storage and, and get those racked up. I have a label maker that I bought for practically nothing, which is the way to buy stuff. <laughs> and I started out and did uh, labels for a did a hundred labels 300 to 400 and then i i ran out of tape so this was an empty tape deal so i just popped it apart and, and i'm using it for a dispenser so what i'll do is just take my scissors with me uh, you bend those and the pieces the backing comes off and i'll just peel that backing off and leave it on here so it'll be easier to get the next one and then cut the label part through there and then i'll have my 300 label and then i i uh i'll stick that on the stuff that won't fit in the bins which is most of this this is mostly big stuff and i also like this is some wherever uh, aluminum wear and I'll put my 300 on there and then have that sticking out where I can see it. You'll see more in the mini storage when I get there. It's uh, actually got it pretty lined out where it's uh, in order and stuff for a while. I was just kind of sticking them everywhere, but I started out and got them in numerical order. So it might be a little faster to get them pulled. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> try to get that old beast defrosted i've got the back full of bubble wrap too i've got to take that down to the mini storage and stick in the in the corner i got a couple of fresh loads of it here on the hanging rack where i can pull it out and use it easier and everything's pretty much ready to go i get this lined out and get it stuck in the storage and give me some more room to work i'll load up some more i know for sure i want to get this mrs t going because i think it's like 50 bucks and i need to get that sucker rolling get it out of here and uh along with this other stuff and clear this clear this aisle out and get some money rolling in did sell a lot of four puzzles for an offer it had them on there for 45 bucks they're kind of a weird danish artist they they uh i had five of them and a fella from like the netherlands emailed me through uh ebay and asked if i'd just sell him that one so i think i busted them apart here about three two three months ago and sold him that one for like 15 bucks he ended up having about 75 dollars in a stupid puzzle but he collected them it's a weird artist that i come up with somehow from here in nashville so i was glad to fix him up for that and i thought that was kind of cool that he uh 
you know, reached out and, and we could get his uh, collection finished up. So anyway, I'm going to put you down and I'll check back in here in a little bit when I get things lined out and ready to go. So I'm here at the mini storage and there's a big construction project going on next door. That was all open field just a few weeks ago. Wow, this is ice. <laughs> Didn't know that when I was driving on it. So that's kind of weird. I poked my head up across the beam of this thing the other day and grabbed a skateboard that was broken and I think the wheels on it are going to go over 20 bucks or so. <laughs> yeah. Never know what you'll find so I thought didn't know it was icy. I don't know if I would have slid over here to take a peek or not but uh, you never know what's going to turn up in this stuff. like just a bunch of junk today some nice ducting if I was gonna do a project to duct into the house to get it to the eBay area garage area I would probably snag that there's some BX I think that's what it's called that armored cable a little bit of metal nothing great yeah this is a 55 and over community they're building stuff everywhere there's flat land around here it's crazy all right well i'm gonna grab my stuff and get it slid into the storage and hopefully put in some sort of order that i can find it easy in so i made it down to the mini storage and got everything put up um this will give you some idea how much room that i'm having to use i've got three of these six foot I think they're six foot anyway yeah because it's like 20 feet 12 yeah they're about they're six feet. anyway I've got some totes some of this stuff's storage but I've got 200 items roughly and seems like right now I'm kind of trending toward bigger stuff so I'm having to use shelf space instead of putting it in totes but it's holding up okay it's uh, i still got some room i move some stuff around stack some stuff those are air filters i just need to get rid of probably stuff tends to accumulate if it's too hard to list for me and doesn't have much profit potential it's hard to get too excited about it but uh what i do is i'll uh just list the stuff and then i have my locations of A through L right now. And when I come in and uh, like while well, just now I put up a uh, those New York key rings and I put an A there. So, and then the Sonicare brush, toothbrush that was sealed up and everything is in C. Then the rest of these are, are just numbered like 304 flashpoint. When I write this down, I, I kind of do a uh, mark through to show this is where I started and I've got these 12 items here so I didn't I'm not taking this back with me I just leave this here all the time I just took a picture of this and what I'll do is pull it up on the screen on my computer and split screen it where I've got this photo on one side and then my eBay listings on the other and then I just update those to that to the eBay listings for my SKU number yeah, it's working out pretty good. I need to get about this many again listed to start making like expenses. It kind of does, but uh, kind of doesn't some, some months too. It did pretty good last quarter. So yeah, this is handy to have a little extra space. I've got the my wetsuits and I had some coats hung up on this. I'll probably bring them back down and hang them up and get them out of the way of the house. 
they're kind of handy to, to have it where you can hang stuff up and see it. My caving stuff is all uh, in one of these totes. That bottom one there says caving gear, no lights. I've got my one draws and all that stuff in there. Get moved down to Chattanooga area. I hope to be using that this summer and not just sitting there. It's not ruining or anything, but I'm sure not getting much use out of it. So we have a bubble wrap came in finally. I got this batch. I just got four of the one foots and two of the two foots, and it's uh, the two. Well, they're 400 square feet, so those rolls are 100 feet, I guess. Yeah, anyway, it lasts pretty good. So it's slippery outside. I don't know whether to make a run to the Samaritan or just go back to the house. I'll probably just go back to the house and start listing some more stuff and get more uh, moving around room. Anyway, so yeah, this is my storage. It's nice. I'm going to take that paper back with me and chunk in the trash. All right. See you later.